I think part of it is is misunderstanding what we're attracted to, you know, and I'm a man, so I can't speak completely to the experience of a woman. But just based on understanding the, the science of attraction, what I might say about it is that we confuse a couple things. I think what people are attracted to is a sense of confidence. People are attracted to somebody who knows themselves, who, who uh, is bold enough in their approach to life to be invigorating and inspiring and exciting. Um, you know, sometimes people confuse that with someone who's unavailable or someone who's downright mean or narcissistic or arrogant. And, and so when we talk about the kind of confidence that's attractive in a man, I think it's important to not confuse you know, what, what men sometimes think confidence is, which is being brash and arrogant and you know, getting over on people and things like that. Um, the kind of confidence that's still attractive but also sustainable in a long-term relationship is the confidence of someone being mature and wise and knowing who they are and taking appropriate risks in life and being excited about life and having a sense of purpose and meaning. And when you spend time with someone like that, it's not boring at all. It's always exciting because that person is, re is reaching deep into themselves and they're talking from a deep place of purpose and meaning and, and what they're talking about is exciting and they're exciting and what they stand for is exciting. And so I think what's actually attractive in part about bad boys is they do have some measure of confidence to just be who they are. But you have to be careful and recognize that that confidence also shows up in nice people who are excited and passionate about life and they're more predictable and consistent. If you're looking for a long-term relationship, those are important ingredients.